Strapping young man to the right. <laughs> That's Hutton, 2011. Aaron, 2012. Is that the same classroom, Mr. Schaefer? Yep. Wow. <laughs> Drew, 2013. I can't imagine having a better teacher. His teaching is one of the main reasons I enjoy math as much as I do and why I want to continue studying it for as long as I can. I've learned so much in his class, even students who don't particularly enjoy or understand math love Mr. Schaefer's class. Mr. Schaefer has a genuine love for teaching and that means so much to me and all my fellow students. That was from Henry Byrne, 2015, and he was a star student. And uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with the star program, uh, the star student is selected, and then they recognize their star teacher. So that year, Mr. Schaefer was the teacher, had the greatest impact on that student. There's Sarah, 2016. Varsha, in 2017. 
Even students who might not quite enjoy math learn to appreciate it because of his sheer enthusiasm and passion for the subject. That's Marsha, a 2017 star student. So that's two and two in three years. Abraham, 2018. Love his sweater. Hi, John C. Riley. Uh, Neha, uh, in 2020. She just graduated, I'm they were star students who selected Mr. Tim Schaefer as their star teacher. And that was the annual dedication in 2007. I chose Mr. Schaefer as my star teacher because he has been a constant mentor and guide throughout my high school years. I thoroughly enjoyed working problems with him and I couldn't have imagined prep without him. That was Abraham Crawford. And um, <laughs> the reply was, dear Abraham, neither can we. Thank you, Mr. Schaefer, for 23 years of dedicated service to the APDS community. Let's put our hands together. Thank you. someone here who wanted to speak on your behalf and address some of the magic that you've done. Uh, I can't take all the fun in this. I'm going to pass the mic over to one of your coaching colleagues, Mr. Devin Long. subject, but he was inspired by Mr. Shaver and how he taught, and soon a little fire was lit that motivated him to try harder, and not a love, but a strong like of math was born. Throughout the remainder of his high school career, Shaver was always a beacon of light, but in the classroom on the basketball court to him, well, sorry, be it in the classroom or on the basketball court to him, Mr. Shaver always made him feel loved, accepted, included, and encouraged. And he cannot thank Schaefer enough for his impact on his life. Schaefer would constantly push him to be more successful in the classroom as well as on the basketball court, always being willing to stay a few more minutes after practice ended so that he could shoot around. It paid off too, as he was given the green light to shoot from half court at any given moment in a game. Schaefer would always say he is the best shooter I've ever coached. 
show a picture of half court shot. <laughs> He's being here. And in case you were wondering, he made it. Ladies and gentlemen, Devin Moore. Thank you, Mr. Clements. Good afternoon. It is my pleasure to stand before you today to talk about a man who is very special to not only me, but this school as well. It all started in the winter of 2017 during basketball tryouts in the new gym. I was a freshman and had high expectations of making an impact on the basketball team. Well, I, when I first walked in the gym, I saw a man with big, bushy white hair. Little did I know he would have a big impact on my life. Tim Schaefer stepped into coaching as my head coach during my junior year. Our squad had faced many coaches leading up to his taking over, and we could not have been happier that he was going to do it. You see, he was not only an awesome math teacher, and he wanted nothing more than success for each of his students in the classroom, but he was also an outstanding coach who wanted the same on the basketball court. Our class, the class of 21, had a special bond with Mr. Schaefer. We got to know him really well because a lot of us were around him all the time in the classroom and on the court. We even got to see another side of him playing chess. For the record, I did beat him once. Now, he may have had to do something else and had to resign, but a win is a win, and I'll take it. <laughs> As a teacher, Schaefer not only made me, made me like math more, he constantly encouraged me and my classmates to be and do our absolute best. He always genuinely cared about each, each one of us. In the classroom, he would always explain things very carefully on the multiple whiteboards and TVs, but don't let him fool you. Those TVs were also for broadcasting Braves games or March Madness. We were frequently invited to hang out in his classroom during break time, study hall, or lunch. Mr. Schaefer can't be serious, but he also was aware of what was going on in the sports world, and he wanted to bring current sporting events and to make his classes more interesting. I remember taking AP Calculus my senior year, and it was a five-person class. He would have a random generator to pick names to answer questions. To be honest, I hated that thing. One time it picked me three times in a row, and I almost dropped out. <laughs> just kidding. It wasn't that I didn't know what I was doing, I just wished someone else had answered the questions. My favorite memories are from the basketball court. He was always encouraging us and coaching us up. He would go the extra mile and stay after practice for 15 more minutes of shooting and making sure that we were comfortable with our shots. Sometimes he would shoot with us, and shooting with Schaefer was not easy. He was very tough to beat. I remember during some of the games when we were down, we would hear three more threes and we're back in it. Or the team was told to get the ball to Ben Monick or myself only, and if someone else had it, they were told, do not shoot the ball, no matter what. One of my favorite basketball memories of all time was playing the game versus Edmund Burke during my freshman year, and the team had an idea of an alley-oop pass to Fletcher Murphy. We executed the first alley-oop in Augusta Prep history, and I'm pretty sure it still stands today. Especially the overnight ones, Mr. Schaefer would always find a way for us to do some team bonding, usually over a movie or a Waffle House at 1 a.m. I'm sure he wanted to be asleep, but he was hanging out with us. Those are core memories that will last with us forever. I remember playing Loganville at home my junior year in 2020, and they were the number one team in our region at the time, and ultimately the state runner up to John Millage. We had got our butt kicked the previous game, but only lost to them by five in triple overtime. Our record was around 12 and 12, and before the game to get our attention, Schaefer flipped the desk in his classroom. <laughs> Safe to say that worked. Maybe he should have done that for some of our other games. <laughs> when COVID hit, the summer before my senior year, we had to wear masks and practice social distancing. Schaefer found a way for us to practice outside of the lower school court as a part of summer workouts. It was super hot, but we didn't care. I remember we were practicing at over 100 degree heat index. We were just excited that we were able to practice at all. Even in the heat, practice was still super fun. I remember one time, my teammate, William Hulkgott, threw a basketball and completely missed it. It hit Schaefer in the face, knocking his glasses off. We laughed about that for a long time. 
Although I was able to practice basketball, coaching was a difficult time for me personally. Mr. Schaefer made time and came over to my house to shoot my backyard and talk through a lot of things with me. What he did was help help me make help me better help God. What he did was help me get better with basketball and help me personally. I will never forget that. He made me the player I was today, and without him, I would not be the man I am today. Thank you. I have been coaching basketball since I was 16, but I wanted to be more involved in a school setting. When I was asked to come aboard as an assistant middle school coach for Schaefer, I was thrilled. His innovative mindset and coaching style was unique. The boys were still being encouraged to do their best, just like I had been when he coached me. Schaefer was still about improving the player and the player the game together, and not about wins and losses. It was super cool to work with him friend to friend or coach to coach and to reconnect on a different level. For this speech, I was able to get a few quotes from my classmates. First, from Cole Bissell, he said, my experience with Mr. Schaefer, whether it was on the basketball team, chess club, or in the classroom, was always amazing. A true role model and a great example of what a teacher should be. Next, from William Helfgott, he says, I remember when I hit Schaefer in the face with the ball on the lower school court and got in trouble for laughing. <laughs> Finally, Jack Sinek said, all jokes aside, my favorite memory is getting to watch March Madness in his room during lunch. So in conclusion, I want to thank you for everything you've done for me, my classmates and friends, everyone before and after me at Augusta Press. In honor of your retirement, I have a custom-made Augusta Prep basketball jersey for you. With 24 is the year you retired and your name on the back. Wherever you are, I can't see you. <laughs> So let's go to these. 